Drafting and Revising Essays A draft is a tentative or preliminary version of your essay. You should plan to write several drafts before you end up with an essay you're satisfied with. Here are some tips for writing essay drafts. Leave time between your drafts. Think of drafting as a chance to experiment with your writing. Focus on ideas, not necessarily the correctness of your sentences, nor the correctness of your punctuation, capitalization, or grammatical structure. Be prepared to make major changes on your secondary draft. Have a friend or classmate read your drafts. At various stages in the drafting process, you may decide to rewrite, revise, or completely change your thesis statement. Remember, a thesis statement should explain what your essay is about and also give your readers clues about its organization. You may not know, for example, how your essay is organized until you've written one or more drafts. Use the following suggestions for making sure that your thesis statement is clear and effective. It should state the main point of your essay. It should assert an idea about your topic. It should be as specific and detailed as possible. Furthermore, it may give suggestion to the organization of your essay. For example, whether it's a narrative essay, a descriptive essay, or an argumentative essay. It should not be a direct announcement. For example, do not write, in this essay, I will present these details. That is not interesting or effective for the reader. Also, it should offer a fresh, interesting, an original perspective on the topic. The best time to evaluate and, if necessary, revise your thesis statement is after you've written your first draft. When evaluating your thesis statement, ask the following questions. Does my essay develop and explain my thesis statement? Is my thesis statement broad enough to cover all the topics that I made in the essay? Does my thesis statement use vague or unclear words that do not clearly focus on the topic? The introduction, conclusion, and title each serve a specific function. Each strengthens your essay and helps your reader understand your ideas. An introductory paragraph has three main purposes. It presents your thesis statement, it interests your reader in your topic, and it provides necessary background information. Although your introductory paragraph appears first in your essay, it does not need to be written first. In fact, it is sometimes best to write it last, after you've developed your ideas, written your thesis statement, and drafted your essay. Here are some suggestions on how to interest your reader in your topic. State a startling fact or statistic. Begin with a short story. Possibly use a quotation. You might state a little known fact, a myth, or a misconception. A straightforward dramatic thesis can also capture your reader's interest. For example, the dream job that I've wanted all my life turned out to be a complete disaster. This particular thesis inside of the uh, introduction paragraph is very effective. It captures the reader's interest and it almost is a little startling because it takes a twist for the reader. The reader is interested to pursue further in this essay to turn out how that dream job turned out to be a complete disaster. Also be sure that within your body paragraphs that you're using transitional words. I know that in a previous lesson I presented these transitional words, but I'm going to represent them because I cannot overstate using transitional words in your body paragraphs to add to the flow and the transition for your reader. These transitional words are their visual written cues for your reader to understand uh, that you're presenting supporting details, you're going into your conclusion sentence in your body paragraph, or you're moving on to the next body paragraph. Make it clear how your ideas relate to one another. For example, use the transition words that I'll present on the next slide. Write a transitional sentence, which usually is the first sentence in the paragraph. 
and repeat key words, but don't repeat the word or phrase exactly. Here are some useful transitional words or phrases. The final paragraph of your essay has two functions. It should re-emphasize your thesis statement and draw the essay to a close. It should not be a direct announcement, such as this essay has been about, or in this essay I hope to show you that. It's usually best to revise your essay at least once before working on the conclusion. During your first or second revision, you often make numerous changes in both content and organization which may, in turn, affect your conclusion. Here are a few effective ways to write a conclusion. Choose one that will work for your essay. Suggest a new direction for further thought. Raise a related issue you did not address in your essay. Look ahead. Project into the future and consider outcomes or effects. Return to your introductory paragraph information by recalling your main points or calls for action. Also, you might look at summarizing key points, especially for an essay that's longer. An essential element of your essay writing skill is effectively revising your essay. Revising is a process of closely evaluating your draft to determine if it accomplishes what you want it to. This is the time to be sure that the essay says what you want it to say and that it does so in a clear and effective way. Later, once you're confident that your ideas are expressed clearly, you can move to editing. There is a difference between revising and editing. Revising is taking a look at your ideas and modifying or changing those ideas for clarity of your essay, whereas editing is looking at grammatical structure, capitalization, punctuation. These pieces are very different. You should always address revising first. Here are general strategies for revising. Allow time between finishing your final draft and revising overnight if possible. Look for common problems you usually have trouble with. Read the draft aloud to hear your ideas to see if they are on clear or fully explained. You might ask a friend to read your paper aloud to you. If possible, read a print copy. Don't read it on the screen of your computer. Also, you'll need to use the revising and editing checklist that I will provide for you. When you've completed your essay, you need to ask yourself the following questions for revising. Does your essay accomplish your purpose? Is it appropriate for your audience? Is your topic statement clearly expressed? This goes back to your thesis. Does each paragraph support your thesis statement, the overall ideas? Is your essay logically organized? Have you used transition words to connect your ideas in your body paragraphs and also used transition words in your conclusion paragraph? Are your introduction, conclusion, and title effective? When revising paragraphs, ask the following questions about each paragraph. Is the topic of the paragraph specific enough to be adequately covered in a single paragraph? Does the topic sentence clearly identify the topic and express a point? Are there enough details to support the topic sentence? Are the details arranged in a logical order? Have you used transition words and phrases to connect ideas? Lastly, did you include a conclusion sentence in that body paragraph to safely transition your reader into the next body paragraph? Remember that editing is taking a look at grammatical structure, punctuation, capitalization. These pieces are done after you have revised your ideas and ensured that you have a logical organization and focus for your essay. Here are ways to edit and proofread effectively. Work with a double-spaced print copy of your essay. Read your essay backward. Start with the last sentence and working toward the first. I cannot stress enough that you need to read your essay aloud. 
Use the spell check in Microsoft Word. It's there for a reason to be able to help you. Also, you need to use the revising and editing checklist that I will provide for you and use this for your essay.